Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kryn. I'm Byron and our party has finally made its way into Mertani's stronghold, the base of Kernan. See, we're in. Awesome. And between the videos I rested and got my spells back, so we should be ready to go. So let's move on. Mertani's forces spot you and attack. Fine. Do your worst. We have an Auric and a few bars. You should probably I don't know. Curse an ice storm. This will probably hurt the party too, but I think it will be worth it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, great. You should yell. Oh, that didn't work apparently. You're dead. You missed. You could try to attack him at probably doesn't work. I don't know why you can't target them. That worked. You go mad. That does not work. Oh well, you can't do anything right now. Ow, oh, you're not nice. Are we done now? Good god, you delay and hope to get a chance for a backstabbing. Oh, he rises in a new form. Fine, that means we go. Yeah, we leave. Goodbye. You God. You move away too. God. You also God. Oh. Apparently, uh, Kobe Tai, being a thief, was able to sneak away. Rakaldarian, being a <laughs> clumsy knight, was not able to sneak away. Quit. Quit. Uh, no, done. Quit. Oh, I hate you. God. God. Quit. God. I hope we're far away enough. God. No, we're not. Fuck. Oh. Okay. So, well, what could we get? Two more gems and 25 steel coins. Um, we encamp, we save, we fix. And actually, move on. You meet another contingent of Mitani's personal guard. A battle begins. 
And I guess the ogres are supporting us. They are pretty useless where they are right now. So we only have an Aurek and three Civex, that's all. That's not really much. Oh, great. You cast a fireball. You can't do much, you little ogres. Cast your fireball. One, two, three. Here. You yell. You move down here and cast another fireball. One, two, three, here. Why do we always miss? Ow, oh, ow. Oh. That was a nice hit. Thank you. One hit point. Zero hit points. Oh, come on, four hit points. You should be able to kill him. Quit, then quit. You ogres are useless. Good night. And now you arise in a new form. And we try to get away from you. You delay. You could probably move away. Ow. God. You delay. Can't delay anymore. Then you quit. I hate you. We got him. The problem is that everybody has to pass him. Even our mages, there's no way for us to sneak past him. God. And Genevieve Jolie, well, you should move again. Like here. Here's a good place to be. God. Yeah, I'm afraid you have to pass him too. Ow. Oh. Quit. So the ogres could get into the battle now and distract the Aurek. I think you should guard here. You are done. You are done as well. While you are standing, you're blocking your friends. If you would move like up here, uh, well, okay, forget. Forget what I said. 
Uh, the ogre is dead and stunned at the same time. How does that work? Okay, I think we managed to um, survive that fight quite nicely. Let's encamp, save, fix, and take a look at the area. Okay, moving on. Some ogres move ahead to the west. Suddenly a shadow seems to form over them. Bolts of energy strike the ogres, turning them to ash. Oops. Gravne comes up, looking grave. He speaks and you record it in Journal Entry 79. 79. Gravnak's story about the Guardian. The oldest rulers of Kernan ordered the city's mages to create a deadly guardian for their castle. How they did it no one knows, but the magicians gave this thing to the king. Over the years it became unruly and was locked in the vaults below this building. We know of no way to harm it or chase it back to the vaults where it was kept. All we know is that an ancient tome in the library contains a recipe for a salve that will protect the wearer from the guardian's deadly bolts. You must construct this salve in the alchemy study before you can succeed in passing the guardian. Great. Let's turn back then. And go in here. Pick it. Knock it. You have reached a treasure vault. The ogres with you forget about their mission and begin to fight over the treasure. They're stupid. But we get 5291 experience points. And what do we get? Money. Ha ha ha. I'm not bothering with that. That's too heavy to be useful. But I take the jewelry. And the gems. 5,000 steel, 10,000 platinum, 2,000 bronze, and 20,000 bronze, and 60,000 copper. Forget it. What do we get item-wise? Hmm, that's nice. So you... Wait, you can't detect? Then you take the gauntlets and the 200 sword. And we exit. What else is here? Just the money. Okay. We leave it. So, we encamp. No, and, um, uh, what did we get? A two handed sword and, a, and gauntlets. Let's try out the gauntlets. I'm s I, I really could use an identify spell here, but no, we don't have that. So without the girdle of giant strength, you only have a strength of 1850, my dear Rekel. If you, you would, you, if you would use the gauntlets, and you would have a strength of 1800. So it's probably the same thing that Sylvia Saint has gauntlets of ogre strength. So you ready them and actually trade them to Kobe Tai because she only has a strength of 16. R ready? Okay, much better. And if I take a look at you now, and um, what does she have? Taco of 12, 1d6 plus 4. Taco of 12, 1d6 plus 4. This doesn't change anything. I thought, well, your tackle would go down if you have a higher strength. Apparently it does not. Weird. And if I have a magical weapon plus two, why does Taco only go down by one and not by two? Without the hoop pack, I have a Taco of thirteen, and with the hoop pack plus two, I have a Taco of or Kobe Tai has a Taco of twelve. Does that make sense? I don't think so. Oh well, at least she can carry more now. I I actually hope that she would do more damage and have a better Taco because she uses her hoop pack as a ranged weapon quite often. But apparently it doesn't work like that. Well, can't be helped. 
so uh, we should get our spells back nothing nothing a level 3 and a level 4 spell so that would be a ice storm I guess and a fireball you get oh yeah knockback of course and fireball as a bonus spell you didn't use any okay that worked so we save oh eight civilization six that's four and move on So um, let's go. Where are we? Okay, we are here. I get it. So we go through that door. The door is held by another contingent of guards. It's always the same with them. Um, okay, so there's another auric here. I don't care. You yell. And you cast a fireball. Well, if we would, that would affect the whole party, but it would affect all of them as well. That would also affect all of them. That would also affect all of them. But, uh, Rekal Dorian would be out of it. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, well, good night, good night, no, you go mad, you have done your job. Oh really? Ow, 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 ow. Hmm, you delay. You attack. Okay. Oh, now you're rising in your form. Fine. We leave. Oh. So you move back. God. And you move. Oh, oh missed. Okay. And you got here. 
And he will probably, just before he explodes, he will come close, but I think Regaldorin and Randy Spears have enough hit points to survive that. And he can't get to the rest of us, so I think we're good. Quit. And that's actually how it's supposed to work. But sometimes I have the exp yeah, boom, he goes. Oh. Yeah, you can stun me all you like, it doesn't matter, the battle is over. So we encamp, save again. I will save after, after every battle now, just because, well, it seems like a good idea. Take a look at the map. Where are we? Okay. Let's move on. You have entered an ornate bedroom, perhaps one used by Mertani. Well, look around. You have searching the room reveals an ornate key. That's nice. We take that. Oh, really? Mertani's forces spot you and attack. You yell. Bars and an auric. Fireball, or maybe Ice Storm. Hmm. Oh, great. Ow. Oh. You annoy me. Ah, oh, you lose your weapon. Grr. Now you go mad. And you rise in a new form. Mm, yeah. You don't do anything. Although maybe you could. It, it doesn't matter. God. Even if I gave you your sword bag, it wouldn't matter. Because you will not be able to attack him. Oh, can't go there. No, for fuck's sake. And we got him. Yeah, I know. And he explodes. And hurts. And stuns. But it's not that much of a biggie. Okay, so we encamp again. You get your sword back. What's in here? This was once a study, but now it has been demolished. It appears someone was looking for something. Really? Um, let's look. Okay, we don't find anything. Moving on. And more draconian spotters. I wonder how many encounters we get in here. Wait, you're telling me there's no auric around. <laughs> you're so fucked.
Well, that was really easy. So, oh, you annoy me. Every two steps I get spotted and attacked. Where are the ogres? Oh, what? Excuse me. That's dragons for fuck's sake. Um. Fireball. One, two, three. Yeah, but I think it's worth it. Shit. Ow, ow. See, um, you are down to twenty one, one hundred, fifty four, seventy four. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here, oh, how could you? How could you? God. You should move back, girl. Go mad. Twenty two hit points. Hmm. Okay, new form. You delight, uh, not delight, delay and quit. You get a fuck out of dodge. No, you will not attack your ally. You're stupid. Okay, you guard here. Guard. Ah, he still is able to come to us. I know he will blow up. Maybe I should have left one next to him. That would have been a better idea. Oh well, 2000. That's a lot because we, yeah, well, we fought a lot of dragons. Okay. 
back at full health. This is an ancient library, one giant decayed tome dominates the room. Examining it reveals a complex lock, which the ornate key should open. What do you do? We could try to pick the lock. Who will try? Well, kill me. You succeed in opening a book. It contains the recipe of the salve that will protect the party from the Guardian. Awesome. This is a well-equipped alchemical lab. You find all the essential components to create the protective salve. After a short time, the salve is created and applied. Very well. I hope it doesn't wear off because I will... I will rest again in here to get my spells back. Fireballs for the win and another ice storm. You don't have any, that's bad. Oh, what? You cannot rest when Matani is about to destroy the good armies. Well, fuck off! Can someone bind and gag that candle? Now I know why they are so annoying. Thanks. God damn it. Oh, well, this has been a long video. So, we will call it quits and continue the next one. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.